They are all first stage mutants themselves. Is that why they're deaf and mute? And sterile. Except for Trevini, perhaps. Sterile? Yes. They are a dying race. There hasn't been a new birth on this citadel for the past 20 years. That's where you fit into the plan, Allison. Make no mistake about it. What do you mean? Regeneration. Trevini has chosen you as her mate. You're the last hope of this society. I don't understand it. There wasn't any plague this morning. When did it happen? Major Allison, have you any idea what year this is? Right here, right now? Of course I know what year it is. What's that got to do with it? Everything. Major, this is 2024. It's what? 2024. 64 years into the future for you, Major. The plague we are talking about, it hadn't happened in the New World in 1960. It began in 1971. An atomic war? No, no. The feared nuclear war never occurred. When men set foot on the moon, all nations started to work together to push on into space. By 1970, colonies had been established on both Mars and Venus. Then if it wasn't nuclear war, what did cause it? A bombardment of cosmic radiation from outer space. A bombardment from outer space? Oh, now, wait a minute. You wait. Now, listen to me, Alison. The people of your world are concerned about nuclear fallout. Well, the danger is in the other extreme. The tons of radioactive dust that have mushroomed up into the ionosphere since the very first A-bomb test. That dust has remained up there and it's slowly destroying the protective screen that has filtered deadly cosmic rays from space since time began. Do you understand, Major? Yes. And all the nuclear explosions that have ever taken place on Earth have contributed to this. Yes. And every human being left has become mutant, or sterile, or a combination of both. If what you say is true, then Colonel Martin and all the others were caught up in it. What's happened to them? How can I find out? There isn't any way. It's only hope they were amongst the lucky ones who could evacuate. Evacuate? Yes. In 1973, the mass evacuation began to the planet colonies. Only the uninfected ones were permitted to go. The ones left behind moved underground as fast as possible and started building networks of tunnels, like this one. More than half the population of the world was wiped out during the first year. I see. When I landed on the air base, it was completely destroyed, demolished, deserted. You landed? You didn't crash? The captain. When they found you, they destroyed your ship. No. No, I left the air base. They captured me afterwards. Then your plane is in operating condition, sitting out there in the air base? Well, I suppose so. Unless the mutants have found it. Well, Cruz, I see you've become acquainted with our new prisoner. Yes, Captain. And it is your good fortune as well as ours. Major Ellison has an excellent technical background and he's eager to help us. And as you know, Captain, we are in dire need of skilled help. Well, we shall see. Where's Tarini? I believe she's returned to her chambers, Captain. I think she's expecting a visitor. Come along with me, Major. We have some things to discuss. I'm warning you. I'll tolerate no more of your scheming. If you persist, I'll see that you're back in the dungeon. We've got to get to the Major before they convince him we're his enemies. 